you guys. Welcome to today's video. So I'm filming a what I got for Christmas today and I'm so excited. I love Christmas. My family loves Christmas. And I guess I should start this video like every single other bitch on the internet and say that I'm very grateful for everything that I got. And I'm not trying to brag. Yes, I am a little bit spoiled, but also my parents are divorced. So like the big like spoiled Christmases is like my reparations for like the trauma that I've endured. So that's my excuse. Anyways though, let's get into it because I have a lot to show you guys. And we'll start with my stocking from my mom. She bought me these two tanners. This one I really wanted to try. It's the St. Tropez like shower tanner. I'm just very interested in what it looks like. So she got me that. And then I also got the St. Tropez like the gradual tan lotion and i love this stuff it's such a good nice little glow for the winter so i'm really excited about that and then also i obviously got lots of chocolate i love chocolate it's my favorite thing and every single christmas i always get a ton i also got some kinder egg chocolate and then my mom always puts a lot of makeup in my stocking so i also got oh okay I also got this L'Oreal brow gel. I said I wanted like a nicer brow gel mostly because I use it for my hair and my flyaways. So there's that. And it's supposed to be a really good hold. I guess we'll find out. And then I also got the Benefit Roller Lash, my favorite mascara I've been using since literally eighth grade. Um, I also got this. This is my favorite like acne stuff. This is by Neutrogena. And my mom actually realized that I was like low. Like I was almost running out. And that's so sweet of her. So she put that in my stocking. And then last but not least, um, I got a lash glue. You can never have too many lash glues because they get so icky so quickly and I love this one This one like it still gets a little icky like any other lash glue, but it's very similar to I think it was either the Too Faced one or Hourglass. I don't know whatever one's not being made anymore. It's very similar to that one But yeah, that's what I got in my stocking. So move on to the gift So keeping on the theme with chocolate, um, I got a whole box of Kinder Eggs and I love Kinder Eggs So that was a good gift and then my mom has also realized how bad my shower caddies are. So she got me some new ones from Ikea. That they're just very cute and white. So that's exciting because my shower caddies do suck. Like they don't really like to stay. So yeah. And then keeping on the theme of shower, my mom also noticed that my shower curtains are getting icky. So she got me some shower curtains, which is probably good. Apparently the Ikea ones are really great. So there's that. And then like every single other girl on Christmas, I did get socks. Um, I really wanted just like plain, completely plain white ankle socks. So I got a ton of those. And then as for clothes, I didn't get very many clothes like in general this Christmas, but that's like okay because I feel like my taste is very specific. But for what I did get, I did get from my mom and I got to this bra this calvin klein one i love calvin klein sports bras um i wear them every single day so this is just you know stocking up and then i also got these <laughs> jeans these levi's jeans that i've already worn that which you can tell so these are the low pros and i really love these if you guys watched my black friday haul you actually might have noticed that i got these exact same ones in a lighter wash and my mom was actually there with me and bought me these while i was there so i was really excited to get these so i could finally wear them but i love these jeans so much these low pro like they're the perfect straight leg just like slightly baggy especially if you go up a size and like the perfect mid-rise so I love them. And then I also got this like chunky like white knit sweater from Hollister and I love it. I've already worn it. I wore it, I wore it to a Christmas party and it's so cute. It's like it looks similar to the Aritzia one although it's a little bit like thinner which is like good because it's easier to put under a coat. So yeah. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks by the way. Like I this is literally like the closest to like a window I could get. And of course now it's like the sun is like shining and the lighting is changing. Trying to like organize your shit after Christmas is genuinely so frustrating. Why? And then this is kind of a little bit of a theme. So we got like these really nice heated socks. They're supposed to keep you really warm in the winter. And then we have these like warming things for like your mittens and stuff or like your boots. And then we have some North Face snow pants with, which are actually the suspender ones, which I love way more. So I'm. And the theme of this is, is that um, we're going skiing. Okay, what the fuck is this lighting? Actually, I'm so angry right now. What is going on? Okay, BRB. Okay, so it looks like we're getting no natural lighting for this video because the sun doesn't want to cooperate. But yeah, anyways, 
So North Face snow pants and we're going skiing, which is I've never been skiing before. I'm pretty excited. We're just doing like a little like ski day, which is nice because I feel like I get frustrated really quickly with skiing, but I'm excited to try it out. So yeah, that was the theme of that those gifts. And then just a couple more things. Um, I got this USB to UVC adapter for my digital camera. And then I got some Laneige um, sleeping mask. And actually, I already took the other one out and I gave it to my mom because she really loves it. And then I got the mini flawless filter foundation. I never need a full size foundation. Like it takes me like a year to use up a mini. So, but I did get the full size Pillow Talk lip liner because I have the mini one right now and I'm literally almost done with it. So I wanted the full size. And then this is kind of a funny gift. I lose my student card like a lot. Like I talked about this in my Black Friday haul. Um, it costs it's like $35 to replace your student card and that's like a lot of money and I last year I lost my student card like three times like it was bad so my parents got me an air tag and an air tag keychain so that I won't lose my student card again like literally this this air tag costs like two student cards not even I don't even know how much an air tag is I'm gonna guess it's $70 though literally two student cards so Oh my god, it was $40. That's one student card, you guys. Anyways, yeah, so that was a cute gift. That's a fun gift. And then you guys thought my mom's big gift was skiing. Well, you're wrong. You guys, you know, like when your mom's like, oh, Christmas is gonna be like scaled back this year. Like I'm not doing a big Christmas. And then she pulls out some shit like this. So my big gift was an espresso. That's so exciting. I was so happy when I opened this, you guys. So I didn't ask for one, but my mom knew that I was thinking of buying one for myself. So she bought it for me and I'm so excited for it. And I haven't opened it or tried it yet because I'm waiting until I go home because I don't want to like open it and then clean, have to clean it to take it home. It's just too much work. So yeah. And then with that, she got me some, some Nespresso pods. She got me like the ones from Starbucks and then these just like plain pods and then you also get 50 free pods with the thing but i haven't i have to go and find the code and redeem that so i'm so excited for that that was like a good gift and i'm so happy so yeah that's what i got from my mom next is like a mix of like my my dad and my grandma um we're really close with my grandma so she gets us a lot of gifts we don't have like that many grandchildren this is just gonna be at random okay so i got this book that I asked for. It's a little YA book. I don't know. Saw it in the go. I read the synopsis and I thought this is going to be so cute. So I asked for it for Christmas. And then my bigger gift from my dad was actually this JBL speaker. I'm not a speaker girl, but I do like to listen to music like in the shower or like when I have friends over. So I thought like this, this little waterproof speaker was perfect for me. And I'm so glad that I got it. I was so excited for it. I also got like these um, liner pens because these run out so quick, but they're so good. Um, um, so I wanted to like kind of get a little bit of a stock up on them. And then I got these crystals, this little crystal set too. I'm really excited. I love just like littering crystals around my apartment as like little decor pieces. So that's fun. Also got this little amethyst chunk. And I love amethyst not only because it's pretty, it's also my birthstone. So yeah. And then also I got so many mugs. So I got this one and then, oh, that's loud. And then this one as well, they're matching. Okay, and then I got this one. This one's my favorite that I got. It's so freaking cute. And then I also got this little snowman mug. And last but not least, I got this little Harry Potter like changing mug like from from heat which is actually really funny that i got all these mugs because my family does not coordinate their gifts <laughs> so um they actually had no idea that i was gonna get an espresso from my mom <laughs> um so little fun coincidence now i have you know all these mugs to put my stuff in because i don't really have very many mugs at home that was a fun coincidence wasn't it and then as for candles i did get a lot of candles i am a candle fiend and like now i think i'm like quite literally set for life <laughs> but it's just like such an easy gift you know but i love them all this one's fun it's like a little decor piece too oh okay it's like a little decor piece too and it smells really nice. So next, I do live in Toronto, which is a city, and my parents feel that it is very unsafe. So dog spray, which is technically illegal, but we're not gonna tell anyone about that. And then a little like keychain alarm because my parents want me to stay safe. So that's a cute gift. That's cute and fun. 
Well, not fun because I should never have to use those things. <laughs> and then I also got the new Stephen King book, who was actually like my second most read author this year. I think I read like six or seven books from him, which is like insane. I didn't know that I liked Stephen King that much, but um, I do like getting his new books. I, re I read Billy Summers and I really liked it. So I thought, you know what, let's get another new one. And his books are so long, but they're so good. So, and then also we got some candy, which I love candy. Also, I got this bottle of rosé with my name on on it like it's not like customized but it's like i'm pretty sure it's like the company is called lily but it's also such a pretty bottle like i don't even know if i can ever open this just because it's so fucking pretty like that's beautiful and has my name on it even though it's spelled wrong but it's fine a lot of the time like when i'm walking not that i run but like sometimes i get into it <laughs> i don't know when i'm walking like in the summer and my shorts don't have pockets i love to have these things just to, like hold my phone when i'm taking a little walk or just like going to the store or something you know so yeah i got this next i asked for some fall decor for for my apartment because I knew that like it would all be discounted after Christmas stuff started so I wanted some nice fall decor because I don't have much so I got these little I don't know what to call them like buckets I don't know what to call them but yeah they're really cute and fally I also thought this was funny. I got this little fall gnome. My family doesn't even know this, but like, I swear they have like, they're like, they can like read minds because like Bennett has like so many like little gnomes. I don't know why. So this like actually kind of matches perfectly. So like, okay. Like, go off. Read my mind. Also got this little bucket. This is cute. And then for my grandma, I got this little fall soap holder. She loves a good soap holder, and she knows that I do too. And then also this beautiful little, like, ceramic pumpkin candle, which smells so much just, like, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Right out in there. And then also this cute little fall sign from my grandma. And then keeping on with candles, I got this cute little rose candle from my aunt. That smells exactly like roses it smells so good i like that it's just like a cute little candle i can burn it in my room without worrying that i'm gonna burn down the house and then i also obviously had to get some winter candy apple because my family knows that i'm absolutely obsessed so i got the full-size body spray i only had the mini before and i got another lotion which is actually great because I've, i'm run out which like my family doesn't know these things like i swear to god they're literally like fucking psychic like why do they know the timing is just odd you know i also got this little candle these are from indigo you guys need to like i swear to god go on to indigo right now and get one of these candles this one is the any scent honestly of these candles is great this is the tobacco flower and vanilla i could literally smell this shit all day like this is addictive it smells so good but yeah and then i also got the sweater weather candle from bath and body work and then i got a couple more books i got the summer i turned pretty um i actually love this cover i think this is like isn't this like the TV show cover? I don't know, but this is the better cover by far. And then I also got Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I'm so excited to read this. I haven't read an Alice Oseman like novel yet, only Heartstopper. So I'm really excited to read this. And I love that it's just like a friendship story. Like I, I love that. Anyways, and then my, oh, my grandma also thought this was so cute. Look, it's like a little like book with a cute little soap in it. Like that's so fun. I love it. And then we got like a little travel set of like, there's a body butter, a body wash, and a body scrub. And I'm always needing like little travel things like for when I come home here because like I don't want to just like fuck up my routine, you know? So yeah, I love to have little travel sizes so I can pack lighter because I overpack so much. And then I also got a ton of ornaments, which is funny because I do have a Christmas tree in Toronto, but um, I didn't put it up this year because I didn't have time. So it's kind of funny that everyone's been getting ornaments and I couldn't even put them up. But I got this really cute, like, Harry Potter one. I love it. It's such, like, a... I don't know. It's so cutesy. It's, like, Harry Potter can either be really millennial and cringy, or it can actually be fun and cute. And this is a fun and cute one, so... Oh, and then, like, honestly, one of my favorite gifts this year, I got the Harry's House vinyl. I'm so excited about this. I did ask for, like, some vinyls for Christmas. Um, I'm more of, like, a CD person, to be honest, because vinyls are so expensive. And my vinyl play... I just have a Crosley. Like, it sucks. So, like, it's gonna, like, damage all my records one day. So that's why I like CDs better. This is... I definitely like to have, like, some of my favorite albums on vinyl. And this is definitely one of them. So I'm really excited. And then also I did ask for this. I got a little crochet kit. I really want to learn how to crochet because I don't know, just like making my own stuff really makes me like excited because I find, I don't know if anyone else has this problem where it's like you really want something that like maybe you saw on Pinterest 
or something and you want it but you can't find it anywhere so i like to make my own things now we're on to the last things and these are all from my other grandma so this was actually something i'm really excited about that i asked for and my my grandma she's so lovely she went through like hell and back to get this for me because they only sell in the u.s but it's this looks like a plain sketchbook right but this sketchbook is so cool it's like a specific like fashion sketchbook so it has like all these like little detail things in it like here we have like button measurements body measurements and then like all different types of like clothing pieces like this is so cool like things that you can like refer to and like all the terminology and like even things with edges darts pleats tucks stitch classes seam classes fiber comparison yarn count system types of dyes printing methods fabric patterns and even like the fucking care labels like they went all out in here and then every single page has like little i don't know if you can see it might be really hard to see but they have like little um figure stencils so yeah and it's just that's the whole sketchbook is like that stuff and then all the figure stencils but it's just a really really nice sketchbook and i'm really excited to use this now that i'm in fashion school and thank you so much to my grandma for getting me this because apparently she went through hell and back so and i love it and then a couple other things that i got surprisingly i got more mugs <laughs> So, my, if she actually knew them, my mom would have gotten an espresso. So that's probably why. But I have a lot of mugs now. I will never not. I will never need mugs again. And then I also got some mixing bowls. I actually don't own any mixing bowls. Like the few times that I have like baked, I've literally done it in pots. Like I use the pots as mixing bowls. So yeah, this is a little mixing bowl. I also didn't have measuring spoons. This is perfect. And it's like these cute little set colors that match my kitchen. And then last but not least. Oh, I got this heating pad, and it's apparently a really good heating pad, I've been told. Um, and I don't know, I just, I just didn't own a heating pad before, so I wanted one. And that is everything that I've got. Okay. Oh my god, wait, no, it's not everything that I've got. Wait, okay, I have just a couple more things. I literally can't sit down because there's so much shit around me right now, okay? So last but not least, from my boyfriend, Bennett, I got this magazine holder. It's supposed to go on the wall and i'm really excited because i do collect magazines they didn't have white so i am gonna spray paint it but i'm really excited for that then he also got me this cute little vintage book of posters like yeah that's so so cute and fun and then he also got me a little timmy's ornament because we need ornaments for a tree and okay that is everything that i got oh you guys there's a couple things that i forgot to show you so one I did get a little Aritzia gift card and a Starbucks gift card. So I got a $50 Aritzia gift card and just a little $10 Starbucks gift card for my dad. And um, sorry, the heater in here is so loud. Okay, it's so messy down here. But I also got this giant, this like Toronto. Oh, I also just got this like giant like Toronto skyline painting that actually my brother picked out for me. He's only nine years old. Yeah, wait, I'm going to tell the story upstairs. So he's only nine years old, but he knows that I live in Toronto and he saw that, like um, a penny sale, if you guys know what that is. And um, he thought of me, so he used all the raffle tickets that he had and put it in into that to get that. And he actually won it and gave it to me for Christmas. And it's such a cute story and I love it so much and I can't wait to put it up. Okay, so that was a lot to digest. I can't believe I just went through all of that. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone if you're watching this video that got me stuff because I really appreciate it and I really love it. But yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed like my little Christmas haul. There definitely was a lot of stuff to go through. So I understand if you clicked off in the middle of it, not that you would be hearing this, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.